Hi folks, it's Miss Alfaro. Another day of quarantine. Well, my kids are baking like crazy and I decided to surprise them with a special display unit for our display case for their, for their cake. So the materials you're going to need are the following. The first thing you're gonna need is some really strong glue. I like E600. Okay, first step, we're gonna assemble it to C. I think I want this to be our base. I think we could e either have it the tower this way or the other way. I kind of prefer it this way. And then we can place this piece right on top. I'm using plastic. I just came back from the dollar store and I picked up these kind of interesting patterned uh, plastic wear. So here's a tall vase. Here's this kind of medium sized bowl that has a nice pattern around it, texture. And then this platter. This could be like an hors d'oeuvre platter. So these are the three objects I'm gonna be working with. And then I'm gonna decorate with some glass beads. Um, the other thing you can do is you can, I'm working in plastic, but you could actually do this and it looks so much better with glass. And these are some of the materials that I found around the house. I found this nice kind of, I think this is a dessert dish or cup. Um, and for Valentine's Day, I got this vase, but I didn't want to throw it away. So I'm going to take these two and we'll work our magic on those. Okay, so let's get started with assembling our cake display. If this is too long for you, I like this because, you know, for a birthday party or what have you, you could put, like, you could actually decorate inside. You could put some of your stones as well, and then you could seal it off like that. If you don't want it so dramatic, you take this piece out and you can keep it very simple like this. Okay, so it's really such a simple activity. What you do is you just apply a big dollop. Some of the glue on each side. I'm gonna make sure that it's nice and centered. I think that's pretty good. You could take a ruler and actually measure each side just to make sure before the glue dries, okay? And then this should be ready within maybe, I mean, I wouldn't play with it for a while, but I would say this would be dry within the hour, okay? You can decorate this, the sides or the, the brim of your dish with these glass beads. So I have clear and I also have the color like I mentioned before. All you're gonna do is this. You can just place a little dollop of glue. Well there, so I'm all done with gluing my platter it's looking pretty good, but it's missing something. So I discovered in my little paint container that I had some of this uh, gloss glass paint. You can pick this up on Amazon or order it through the mail uh, with, with Michaels or any other art supply store. In any event, I was thinking that I'd like to do a little decoration around my platter with this tool. Now, I would practice a little bit before you just start developing your your, your design, okay? Now I'm trying to get the feel of this one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna make some zigzags. So here we go. Please share some pictures of you and your family creating this really cool activity together. And always remember to think outside the box.